After months of rumors, Apple finally launched its lost item tracker last month. Named the AirTag, the small plastic disc works so well they're not just going to threaten the entire business of Tile, the Silicon Valley company known for its eponymous trackers, but perhaps personal privacy as well. Apple is, however, hard at work to prevent the latter, and I feel like it'll figure it out. After all, it is Apple. The AirTag is slightly larger, 1. 26 inch in diameter, and heavier, 11 grams, than a coin and about the thickness, 8 millimeters, of two stacked coins. The white side is plastic, and the other side is aluminum. The aluminum part can be twisted off to reveal a removable CR2032 battery inside. Apple says the battery will power the AirTag for one year. These batteries are small and cheap enough that replacing them should be no issue for most. They're small and light enough to be placed inside the coin pouch of most wallets, or the small key pocket in a pair of jeans. The idea of the AirTag is that it can be attached to items like keys or luggage or laptop bags, so that if those items are misplaced or stolen, we can track their whereabouts. But Apple being Apple, the AirTag in its naked form cannot attach to anything naturally. There are no holes, like Tile or Samsung trackers, for example, for an easy loop around key rings, there's no clip to wrap around a suitcase zipper. Unless you're willing to do something tacky like just tape or glue the AirTag onto an item, you're going to need to buy an accessory like a loop or strap, which Apple will happily sell you ranging from $30 to $440, it's a Hermes branded leather luggage strap with a slot for the AirTag, 